Okay. Oh yeah! Wow. 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 Yeah. So stoked about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you read an article on Atherton bike and it's quite sort of, it's very generic and it's understandable to the general public. Yeah. Having Joe here when you're demoing and you go, oh, I really liked this bit of the bike or it feels a bit long here or I actually really like this bit. And you can immediately run off and reel off why it's like that. Yeah. And it gives you a much greater appreciation for the engineering and the R&D that goes into building and constructing an Atherton bike. It holds the ground like no other bike and I've demoed plenty of bikes. It just holds the ground, the traction is just phenomenal. <laughs> Very, very, very quick. Today's video is all about the 40-something riders Facebook group visit to Dovey Bike Park and our Atherton Bikes demo day. Big thanks to Joe and Horatio for organising the demo bikes and for riding with us on the day. We were able to test ride everything from the AM130, the 150, the 170, right the way through to the AM200 downhill monster. And of course I get to pass on the enthusiasm that is oozing from me for the bike that I now own, which is the AM170. After we'd tested the full range of the Atherton bikes, we headed back to Atherton HQ down in Mahuntleth, where Alex and Joe gave us an incredibly in-depth two-hour tour of the facility, answering all our questions and really providing us with the most incredible experience. Huge thanks to the whole of the Atherton Bikes crew for making this day happen. You're legends. Right, let's go and get signed in and uh, a nice cup of coffee and get this Atherton demo day underway. <laughs> <laughs> First run of the day on the Athies. Let's see how it goes. Oh I'm going to film, so go for it. They'll, they'll be there waiting for ages, you know. Yeah. Know. Whoa. Get into it. Considering the amount of rain Wales has actually had over the last few months, the park is running so well. Yes, there's areas that are particularly washed out and some of the trails were actually uh, closed due to this. <laughs> However, this particular track drained very well. It got a little bit wet into the, uh, the wood section, as you'll see very shortly. The amazing thing about having a demo day in Dovey Bike Park on an African bike is that they encourage you to really push the bike to its limits and to your limits as well so you can really experience just what these machines are actually capable of in, well, their home place, their natural environment. Oh, I've got some good footage of you coming down there, mate. <laughs> very, very, very quick. Most of the time when you want to test a new bike, you get to maybe go around some basic forest trails, or at worst, literally outside in the car park near the shop that you're buying it from. With Atherton bikes, that's not the case. You actually get to test the bike that you want to ride. It's set up and fitted to your uh, height, body weight, etc. All the requirements, and you get to test it in terrain that it was actually built for. This is a very unique experience and one you'd be hard pushed to find anywhere in the world. 
what you thought so far. I mean, that is f***ing scary on there. <laughs> 130 mil, I can't keep the tyres on the floor. Mega, isn't it? Uh, over to you then. Yeah. Looks like it. You got the yellow trousers, so. Enjoy. <laughs> Likewise. Oui. Yes, he's already blooming quick. Super quick. Yeah, these two are super, super fast. A lot faster than me. There's nothing quite like the noise of a quiet, composed, in control dream machine on the trails that you love to ride. These bikes have been built specifically to deal with this incredible terrain. And they do it in an absolutely spectacular way. These boys are flying. That <laughs> was... <laughs> Wicked. That was proper. Yes. That was proper. Oh, Sorted that was. That. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. God, I was holding on there. I was like, <laughs> it's gone. No, I, I was so close to the energy then. Like, <laughs> turning in on one of the corners, yeah. and there was a rock yeah. that the tyre just grabbed. Yeah. And yeah. I tried to do that, and I had to straight. I lost both up. wheels. I banked over too hard yeah, on that yeah, first I corner. Straight over the side. Virtual one. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we crack on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's <a good> riff. <laughs> sick down there, really is. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. It goes alright, it's the only reason I'm keeping up I think <laughs> Oh, just to show the viewers the tyre yeah. that young Horatio is running you can't get much um, slicker than that <laughs> Nice, proper nice. Proper. Cool, eh? Yeah, boy. Absolutely, absolutely spot on. How are you getting on the 170? It's, yeah, it's quite amazing, isn't it? Yeah. No pressure. Yeah. I'll follow you now. Let the party begin. Nice! <laughs> You're super slippery! used to throwing a 29 right, around yeah. them turns and I've oh, it's wicked. You can lean in so much more with the 29. Yeah, you're really you're racking it down there, mate. <laughs> yeah, so I think it helped, obviously, riding here yesterday. Yeah, limbers uh, you up a bit, doesn't it? like that, it's almost to the, to the Ooh, grip. Yeah. I'm not, I have yeah. mine quite wide. You can wind them out of touch. How's that handling compared to the 170? Similar. Yeah, that's interesting that it's similar. Like a down, it's very similar, but yeah. you know it can do way more. Yeah. If that makes sense. With that, you know it can do more, but you know you're sort of like using that's that good, much of the force. Like yeah. So with this, I know I'm only using short. like half. Wow. Yeah, that's so it's got so much more to give.
yeah. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so uh, we're just into a few runs now. Um, we've got lots of people on lots of different bikes. So what I'm going to do very shortly is actually get a little bit of info from each rider as to what they think of the Atherton bikes, the brand, and how it sort of compares to the bike that they're actually currently riding and uh, get a bit more info and intel from their thoughts. Right then, just a quick one. Uh, we have got Monty. What are you on at the moment? I'm on the downhill. Downhill 200, yep. Cool. Uh, what are your thoughts at the moment? How are you feeling with it? Amazing. The linkage just works really well. It just feels like one bike. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you can't, yeah, just so nice. Carl, what are your thoughts? What are you on? I'm on the 130. Yeah, and what's the one previous to this 170. one? The 170. The 117. What, what are your thoughts uh, of the 170? Awesome. Absolutely yeah. awesome. I'm used to a 165, a couple of mil difference, and the way the bike handled, phenomenal. Awesome. Really impressed. That's going to be, that's, that sounds like a sale there, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I just want a discount. <laughs> yeah. Rob, what are you on at the moment? Currently a 150, but I think it's a 164. Yeah, okay, cool. And the 170 was the one you had on before, wasn't it? Which is that one. Which is that one? You don't like the 170. I love it. <laughs> yeah, you're falling in love in a big way, haven't you, really? Yeah, we'll see about this. So, Andy, you're on the 170 now. And I've just come off the 150. And what were your thoughts of that? Plush, just really planted track the ground just felt at home as soon as i was on it yeah yeah good. so it'd be interesting to see what this is like yeah good comparison then get a taste on the downhill bike in a bit hey work it nice let's get going then oh so nice we've got some oh we've got a crash man down on that one. Yeah, you okay? Yeah, I feel alright. Yeah, just just caught you, didn't it? Yeah, slightly off track on the first bit. Yeah, I was off track at the top, pulled it round, and it took me. Oh, wow. We don't have to worry about the bike because we know that's going to hold up to this. Oh, I knew I was going to get too excited. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. You okay to carry on? Yeah, yeah. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> we continue. Yeah, so Carl's good. He's back on the bike. No harm done by the looks. Maybe a, a few little scrapes, but he's good and he's ripping again. Whoa, that's nearly a uh, little bit of a windage there. Right, here with Ed. Uh, right. Ed has been on a couple of the different bikes now. Three now. Um, three, what, tell us what have you tested? Well, I've tested the 150, uh, the uh, 170 which you've got here, and I've had a go on the, uh, the 200 downhill bike. And what are your thoughts on each one then? The 150 is very capable, 150 mil travel, sort of ticks the boxes for that sort of bike. And you know, it's definitely, if, if that's the sort of bike you're after, that's very, very good at doing what it's got to do for a 150 mile trail bike. Took it down a couple of the trails, the reds, and it performed faultlessly, it's lovely. This 170 I'd say is where it's at though. This is, um, having ridden the downhill bike and ridden this, I would do, comfortably do the same stuff as I've done on the downhill bike as I've done on this. And taking this down racetrack about four times now, it's been absolutely marvellous. Wow. And it's a reassuring bike to ride. And uh, it's got capacity there, so, you know, it gives you that uh, confidence to push it a little bit. I had a couple of interesting moments and uh, I was quite happy because, uh, yeah, I got through it. I'm standing here without any bruises to say this. And so what it does do is when you make an error, it will sort of, instead of pinging off somewhere or sort of like soaking up all the travel, it's actually got some spare capacity for that. You don't get so many sort of like squeaky bum moments. <laughs> yeah, that's a very good way. Squeaky bum, yeah, definitely. 
Well, the, 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 the 170, as you know, is my choice uh, of bike. We've got two slightly different um, sizes here. Mine is the one on the right here, which is a um, 480 regular, which is a size 11. And this particular one, I think this is a 470 low, as far as I know. So it's yeah. very slightly different. The difference here is actually that section there where the, um, the tube and the lug actually meet above the rocker. And as you can see here, there's a slightly different um, length there. So the 170 is the choice then, yeah? Yeah. Built Happy days. Parts. Has Built it lived up to the, the sort of reputation that follows or precedes kind of Atherton, do you think? Maybe 110%, perhaps 110, 111% or 12% really. Yeah. I'd, I'd say it's sort of, it's a sound investment anyway, look at it. There it is. Happy days. Cheers, buddy. All right, Thank Rob. you. Rob. Back at home. Back at home on the 170, happy days mate. This will, this will be the one. <laughs> There's a kind of resounding kind of um, 170 theme going on here, I think so. Uh... Rob, you've had rather a lot of experience now on quite a few models. Which which models have you sort of experienced? I went for the 150, yep. 170 yep. and the 200. Okay. Is the one that stands out the most for you? For like general usability, the 170. Yeah. The 150 wasn't enough. The 200 was too much, and it only <laughs> does this. Yeah. Um, it was hilarious. <laughs> it was just hilarious fun, but um, it would be a stupid purchase. Yeah. Whereas the 170 would be a sensible purchase. It takes more boxes. Basically. Yeah, you'd be able to yeah. use it everywhere. Yeah. Whereas the 200, where could I use that? Yeah. So with so from the point of view of before you've ridden these bikes and um, knowing how wow the brand is in the first place has it lived up to expectation oh god yeah 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 they they feel so solid and planted uh, and s stable safe <coughs> but ballistically fast yeah it's just i don't know what to say so with the that ballistic speed do you feel out of control at all I, I, I must admit, at some points I did, and I think the bike kind of, definitely 200. I'm fatigued now, yeah. to be fair, and I, I let the bike get away from me a little bit, and I, I, I thought, shit, that's this is gonna hurt, but it just, no, you, you're all right, dog. It's fine. Don't worry. It's, <laughs> Got you back. Yeah, it, it saved me. To be honest, <laughs> fantastic. No, it, it felt fine. I've got a lot to learn, but oh my god, yeah. What? A, it's a doorway into another. Um, level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's opened up more prospects for you progressing to levels that were maybe out of reach before. Yeah, mm. especially like I was thinking about my trail bike today, and I was like, it's it's a lovely bike. It's not a bad bike, but it's not for here. Yeah, it just isn't. And I didn't want to think, oh, I'm a shit rider because I can't ride a trail bike here. I can ride a trail bike here, but you can't make the most of this place on a trail bike. It just, it just fits an enduro bike yeah. better. So that's kind of my two pints on it, I guess. You're gonna get one, do you think? Yes. No, <laughs> there's no hesitation. No, though, I'm getting one. I just need to make it happen. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but we'll make, make it, it happen. happen. Yeah. Nice one. Sell a kidney or I mean, yeah. the kids have got two kidneys each, right? Yeah, they're gonna say yeah. Then they need one. They need one <laughs> between them, maybe. <laughs> Thank you very much, really appreciate your feedback. Cheers dude. Sick. Okie dokie, so we have Carl here who has been testing a few of the Atherton bikes. Uh, so what did he start on Carl first? Started on the 150. Yeah. Um, felt a bit harsh, but that's the beginning of the day. Okay. So now moved on to the 1870, loosened up a lot on that. <laughs> it was an awesome rig, absolutely awesome. Had a go on the 130. Mm, not favorite. Not, you, not your style. No, it's no. too, too little yeah so going back to the 150 give that another shot now I've warmed up and it's, it's a handsome looking bike isn't it yeah and oh, a yeah. fast machine super fast machine so the 150 is 29 and 29 front and rear the 170 is a mullet so you got 29 at the front and 27 at the rear incredibly capable bikes but yeah this yeah. is going to be sort of a nice run for you now that you've uh, yeah loosened up yeah exactly. what are your thoughts from the point of view of before riding an Atherton bike, and now you've ridden an Atherton bike. There is, you can tell a difference. Yeah. Uh, it's quite surprising. Well, it's not really, I suppose, but yeah, you can feel the difference. Thank you very much, cheers. Give us the lowdown of what you have experienced then, Monty. 
Atherton's bike. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, like started on 170. It was really nice. It felt like a like just a solid enduro bike. Do you know what I mean? Like you could just throw out anything. Felt like a mini downhill through pretty much. Just yeah. with gears and a drop like that. Like, nice. And then went on the 150, like straight away it was a lot more playful. Like you could really like chuck it round, I felt like like pop off like little size bits, you know, duck it into here, there, like Interesting. Even with the 29 rear, it just Things, felt. Yeah, it just it just felt like I could like, play it a lot more. Fantastic. Like, and then I had two laps on a downhill rig, which is it's a downhill bike. Like. <laughs> Does Epic come to mind? Yeah, and they're like, oh, <laughs> it was so good. Like that's why I spent a lot of time on the downhill bikes. I sort of knew what I was yeah. expecting, and it was just like I was expecting that. that like. So. That's good because so you've experienced quite a lot of different downhill bikes. How does this yeah. compare to those that you've ridden before? Well, I've only ridden two, and, both, and uh, compared to my one I've got now, it just links so nice. Like yeah. the suspension just feels like it all works well with the linkage, and it all like it's hot, so hard to explain. <laughs> it is. But, like, it? it doesn't feel like two different bits of the bike moving it just feels like the bike's just moving as one yeah that makes sense for it the linkage just works so well on it it just feels so balanced like. your reaction and your smile on your face tell, tell yeah, the, yeah. the story in itself really oh yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I like to think I'm, I'm an alright bike like, like, riding so. oh you're, you're beyond an alright so, rider you're pretty, pretty so wild rider yeah. yeah yeah it did feel, felt good awesome With so from the point of view of your preconceptions of Atherton bikes and now that you've ridden them what, yeah. what are your thoughts now? Well I was coming here I was like well you know the Athertons they are racing so it's going to be designed for like going fast not like you know big jumps throwing tricks like throwing your bike around like it's designed to fast and uh, so that's why the 150 surprised me because it was like well hold on this is like a little it's like a dirt jumper with uh, suspension that can Ooh, ride I, like that. Stuff. I like that term that's good yeah like it surprised me a lot that but yeah, and then the downhill bike is just like, yeah, you can throw it at anything and it will just go. No. If you had to pick one bike, what would it be? Downhill. <laughs> Straight away, Straight no away. questions. I'm a downhill rider. So. Yeah, that's that's your uh, yeah, yeah. kettle of fish, isn't it? Wicked. Yeah. Cheers. Thank you very much. Andy, yeah. first of all, yeah. what are your thoughts of the bikes that you rode today? Um, I'd be interested in trying a 170 that's sort of spec to my stack height etc because yeah. the one I rode just felt a little bit too up okay. in the front yeah. um, so the 150 for me today has been an absolute playful machine just absolutely smashing it through everything yeah absolutely the smile on your face as well as well but yeah the, the 170 would be interesting to come back and try that actual yeah. spec to my height because uh, okay. That would be the one I'd think I'd want to go for. Fantastic. Yeah. And um, from your perspective then, Jamie, what, what was your kind of number one? Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's <laughs> looking at the 200. <laughs> yeah, that was my first thought. I mean, you can't... I don't think you can ride Dubby on, a, on an Atherton AM200 and, and not help but feel that sort of the pinnacle. But I've got to give it to the AM150. I didn't try the AM170, okay. but the AM150 I felt at home on immediately. Um, having a longer front centre than my current bike, I thought I was really going to struggle to turn it. Yeah. And weirdly, I felt completely at home and was able just to sort of, not square off corners because I don't necessarily ride like that, but um, to manoeuvre the bike was a lot easier than I thought and pop it at a really short rear end was great and it hits jumps immensely right. yeah. um, so that I'm going to give it to the 150 today okay. I think for actually what I ride and be able to get round here 150 was perfect well, that's it. And like, it's, yeah, this, everybody's given kind of a slightly different take on each of the bikes and actually one has stood out more than the other side so. yeah I guess that's really good. anatomics and how you ride and for sure but I think you know if you bought any Atherton bike you won't put it wrong no matter which one you buy uh, 100% uh, so having the demo day having Joe with us and Horatio and Alex as well yeah uh, they really do make the experience understanding it's like I was saying to Alex earlier on you read an article on Atherton bike and it's quite sort of it's very generic and it's understandable to the general public yeah having Joe here when you're demoing and you go oh I really liked this bit of the bike or it feels a bit long here or I actually really like this bit and you can immediately run off and reel off why it's like that yeah it gives you a much greater appreciation for the engineering and the R&D that goes into building and constructing an Atherton bike I think that's flipping amazingly said it really is and the way that they put it across 
across is actually understandable. It's not jargon bits after jargon bits, and you kind of left a bit kind of well. I don't really know where I stand. They just they explain it in such as simple terms for such a complicated situation. Oh, that's a credit to the people that work for the Afton brand yeah. because that is not a bike skill, that's a personal it is, isn't it? Personal skill. So yeah. Um, yeah, having the people here that do what they do is, is a testament to them. Yeah, the brand. fantastic. So Andy and Jamie, what before you came, and rode an Atherton bike, what, you, what were your preconceptions about the brand? Or were there any? No, I was keen to, I was keen to try it. Obviously, a bike brand built by world-class downhill riders is going to be pretty special, right? Yeah. So, to actually experience the, you know, all the thoughts that's gone into the build quality, the way, I'll say it just, it holds the ground like no other bike, and I've demoed plenty of bikes. It just holds the ground, the traction, it's just phenomenal and yeah that's something else and that's just testament to all the testing that they do yeah. and, and, and you know they ride them day in day out so yeah it's no. wicked <laughs> fantastic and, and anything from you do you mind me being brutally honest go for it okay so i was almost thinking of two completely opposite things so one is have they created a bike that is put together by the fastest family in the world that have got all the credibility and accolades that you would want from someone building a bike or are they monetizing the name does that make sense mm. it's easily done right? it is, the world yeah. we live in now there's a lot of hype around something and uh, if you're you've got enough brand awareness and you have enough of a following you can make a business out of it yeah and uh, that latter thought i was completely wrong about mm. without question and i'm not just saying that because we've been here today and you're videoing it so i don't believe in being uh, dishonest yeah you know everything that goes into it uh, even learning today as silly as it might sound to people that may watch this is that joe's saying the way the kinematics are you know you can't just take uh, a shock with a certain spring rate on one bike and put it on another because the kinematics are completely different like everything's been thought everything's there's not a millimeter of the bike that hasn't been put there for a reason yeah um, and yeah, they're just cracking bikes. I, mean, it, I don't know if I've ever put my leg over a bike and felt at home that quickly. Yeah, that's exactly Bearing in mind, I'm in a place that I've only ridden yesterday. I know. <laughs> and it's my sixth time on a bike in eight months. You know, you kind of think, I'm actually really going to struggle. Yeah. You know, and you don't. <laughs> so it's wow. a, nothing but pleasantly surprising. And uh, yeah, I don't see any reason why there's not going to be one in the state. <laughs> so. Awesome. High praise indeed. <laughs> well, thank you very much for You're your feedback. Welcome, I really appreciate it. Really great riding with you. Same with yourself, Andy. Thank you very much. Cheers, man. Cheers. Okay, we've got a gentleman here who has just picked up his new AM170. Today, so it's new bike day for sure. It is indeed. Yes, <laughs> it is indeed. Have you got on with it, mate? Uh, it was it's blinding yeah it's uh, it's everything i expected and more um it's been yeah perfect it's <laughs> it's rode so well it's the the bike that out of the well, out of the box but out of out of the hq uh they've set it up as a yeah as a baseline and it's been perfect riding it like that to start with obviously there'll be some fettling along the way but yeah, uh, yeah. yeah it's it's currently set up well enough to ride today and um, i'll slowly tune out the time it's, yeah it's just it's perfect it's uh, yeah has it lived up to the expectations that you were thinking it would have yeah yeah it's lived up and exceeded them it's, it's saved me a couple of times uh, today already there was, a, <laughs> there was a few hairy moments where we got a bit too confident going into some of the stuff that we hadn't ridden and uh yeah a few drops that i thought oh that probably would have caught me out if uh, i was on the other bike so it's uh, yeah it's already saving me so we're already awesome. good friends yeah yeah, yeah. BFF now. yeah yeah exactly fantastic so, yeah, fantastic. yeah we're back, back again tomorrow so what, to what sort of uh, build have you gone for so this started off as the um the base model the three uh, the Rock Shocks set up, so it's got the Zebs out the front, the Ultimates, um, and then it's got the EXT suspension in the back. I changed that out. I currently run that in my other bike, so I know that works really well, really tunable, yeah. really good. Um, so yeah, currently using that on there. Um, it's got the Dominion brakes on there with the Galfa rotors and pads. They're like yeah, they're, they're amazing. They actually stop the thing dead. Um, absolutely <laughs> blinding how good they are. Uh, did change them to the purple ones, so they stand yes, out. Yes, notice the purple uh, ones. Yes, yeah. Um, it's got Hope wheels on it. Uh, the Force is 30s. They're triple walled, so pretty bomb proof. Yeah. Um, yeah. So those on there. Then the GX new transmission type. Uh, wireless drivetrain on there. Uh, carbon bars. 
and the one up V3 dropper post. So, yeah. It's a pretty sexy build, really, isn't it? <laughs> it is, yes. I'm, I'm very, very happy with it. Well, there's a couple of peas in the pod there. Your build is very similar to my build. I is started indeed. Off, yeah. yeah, started off with a, uh, a build three as well and then just tweaked it here, there, and everywhere. And it very is. nice. Well, thank you very much. Cheers, Phil. Yeah. Let's go and have a tour around the HQ, shall we? Yeah, let's go see it. Wicked. Wicked. After cleaning our bikes and ourselves, we headed into town, which is only five minute drive away, to start the Atherton Bikes HQ factory tour. Huge thanks to Alex for organising this amazing tour of the factory and also Jill and Jasmine for all your help. We were warmly greeted with cake, drinks and of course the Exotica to feast our eyes on. We were shown the bike assembly area where all the bikes are actually put together. We then moved to lug and tube area where all customer bikes have their lugs and tubes stored ready for the build process. Having the opportunity to get hands on with the lugs is quite something. You can actually see the level of detail, the level of workmanship and the level of professionalism that goes into making these incredibly strong bits of kit. And if that wasn't amazing enough, we were then led into the all-important room where the Renishaw titanium 3D printing machine was doing its amazing work. This is where the actual magic happens. The level of complexity and complicated process it takes to build a full set of lugs for even just one bike, let alone several models, is beyond comp comprehension. This machine is quite something. It takes the AM machine about 16 hours to make a lug set for one bike, laying down about three and a half thousand layers of titanium powder that's detailedly melted by four lasers. AM stands for Additive Manufacture. Due to customer confidentiality and secret projects going on, I was unable to capture everything I really wanted, so you'll just have to book a tour and come and see this all for yourself. Next we head into the fettling and shot blasting room. The lugs are removed from the plate and hand finished, so each one of them is individually handcrafted. Finally, the lugs are shot blasted for a good surface finished and then fully and deeply cleaned before the next process. The carbon tubes are made by a company who make racing yachts masts. Bearing in mind the strength of a racing yacht mast, you can kind of get a good idea of just how strong these bikes really are. We then got to the bonding room, but because of the clinical conditions that they have to have within the room, we weren't allowed to enter. We were, however, able to view the bikes being bonded in the jigs. This was a special moment. We were so well looked after for the whole entire day that I highly recommend heading down to Mahuntleth to test an Atherton bike in the place of their birth at Dovey Bike Park. If you want to buy the best bike money can buy, then look no further. Book your demo at Atherton Bikes with this link. You'll find the link in the description below as well. Click here to see the video of when I collected my AM170 and click here to have a look at the AM170 in action and to see whether it's any good at climbing up the hill, which by the way it really is.